Hi, I'm Rosie Reese with the Sounds Good Choir for Older Adults in the Chicago area. We sure do miss getting together to sing in person, but we're still here and we're going to sing for you now. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm one of the 177 singers who rose to the challenge to record this song at home. We hope that it warms your heart. You're watching and listening to an amazing group of singers, the Sounds Good Choirs for Older Adults and the Good Memories Choir for people with early stage memory loss, their care partners, and singing volunteers. I'm Sandy Siegel Miller, co-founder of this organization and director of the Good Memories Program. And I'm Jonathan Miller, co-founder of Sounds Good and also its artistic director and CEO. And we are so glad to have this opportunity to headline here at this year's Senior Lifestyle Expo, albeit virtually. Now, before the pandemic hit, we were operating 11 choirs a week all around the Chicago area and in Southwest Michigan. But in mid-March, all of our rehearsal locations closed and we moved everything online. So instead of doing concerts like this in person, hundreds of our singers learned how to sing at home, record themselves at home, and send in files from home. And as you'll see, we are so proud of everyone's hard work. 
We've prepared a concert of four songs for you, along with stories of what it's like to be singing in a choir that can't meet in person, and some background on the music we're singing. Enjoy, Enjoy the, the show. show. Hi, it's Jonathan again. I want to tell you about the first song that we sang, The Storm is Passing Over. This is a song that was written by a gentleman named Charles Albert Tinley, who was born in the year 1851 in Maryland to a father who was a slave and a mother who was free. Now, Charles's mother died when he was very young, and in order to keep his freedom, he was raised by his mother's sister, who was also free. Charles worked in Philadelphia and other places and felt a calling to be a preacher, and he went into the ministry, and it was while he was giving sermons and he got inspired. He was really a self-taught musician. He started writing songs that grew out of his messages that he was preaching from the pulpit, and in 1905, he published a collection of songs called Soul Echoes, and this song, The Storm is Passing Over, was in that collection. Now, it was not uh, super popular, but then in the 70s and 80s, a number of gospel choir conductors and arrangers got a hold of the tune and started making new arrangements for gospel choir. And this one that we just recorded is by a woman named Barbara Baker. It's published by Boozy and Hawks. It has gone literally all around the world and is a big favorite of choirs. And we were really happy to have it as our first foray into the world of the virtual choir. So that was The Storm is Passing Over. My name is Jenna, and um, I never sang in a choir before four years ago when I joined Sounds Good, and I just loved it, and I still do. But as you know, we're no longer singing in the same room together since COVID started. So when our first, when our session closed down, uh, we switched to Facebook, and um, I went to the first session that was closed. And I said, I don't want to do this. I'm sitting in front of my computer by myself singing out of tune. This is not fun. And so I stopped. And then the summer session started. And I really missed everybody and I missed singing. And so I said, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to do the summer session. I'm going to come in with a different attitude. I'm going to say, we can't do it the way we were doing it before. We have to do it differently. So let me give it a try. So when I went in with that attitude, I found that I really enjoyed it. So I go on Facebook Live and sing. I'm still by myself in my room in front of the computer singing out of tune, but I get to see people's comments. I get to see Jonathan on the screen or Paul on the screen, and that's always fun. And so I found that, you know, you just have to be resilient and be adaptable. And when we can, we'll be back together in one room singing elbow to elbow with each other. But for right now, this is a really good way to keep community 
and keep singing and be happier than the times call for. Hello everyone, my name is Paul Langford and I'm one of the assistant directors for the Sounds Good Choir and the Good Memories Choir. I've been uh, working with Jonathan Miller for uh, six or seven years, first of all in another group that he had called Chicago A Cappella, and then most recently in these two new choirs. And initially my roles included making rehearsal tracks for singers to learn their parts, and then I started filling in leading rehearsals in Arlington Heights uh, when Jonathan got busy leading rehearsals all over Chicagoland. And that has morphed into leading rehearsals every week online during the pandemic and leading sing-alongs for the Good Memories Choir uh, every few weeks. Um, it's been an, an amazing experience for me to uh, to see the whole situation evolve and grow. Uh, I, I confess that leading rehearsals online was, uh, was daunting and difficult and strange for me at first, and it still is, it still is to a certain degree, but I've just kind of gotten used to it. But what I didn't expect was the connection that I've made with the singers. When I lead rehearsals for uh, Sounds Good Choir on Facebook Live, I can't see or hear them. They can't see or hear each other. They can see and hear me. And they can go back and watch the video later because it stays online. But it's, it's a strange experience to lead a rehearsal where you can't see or hear anyone. They can send comments down the side of the screen and I can read their comments and respond. There's a little bit of a delay, but somehow miraculously through through music and through the hearts of these incredible people a connection has been made a relationship has been started and that's evidenced by what they say in the comments and by emails that they send me i i i feel a deep personal connection to these people and i consider them my new friends and i certainly look forward to the day when i can you know uh, meet them in person, shake their hands, say thank you. Most of, most of them I've never met or never seen in person. The next uh, phase of the experience is when they send their videos that we use to compile virtual choirs. I'm doing the audio mixing, uh, another person, Kelsey Cox, is doing the video portion, but as each deadline approaches I, I receive their videos via email so I can see their faces, I can put a face with a name, and I begin to assemble the tracks in my software that you see behind me, and uh, start to mix the audio. And, and it's so uh, deeply touching and moving to me to hear the choir come together, literally voice by voice. And there's something very deeply touching and poignant to me about hearing their individual voices and knowing what they've done to to deal with the technology. It takes a lot of courage to sing at home alone with headphones by yourself into a video camera. It's nothing like singing in a choir at all. I mean, the result of a virtual choir sort of looks like a choir to the viewer, but for the person creating their individual track, it's a bit of a lonely experience. So it's very touching to me to see them fight against the technology and whatever fear they might have or awkwardness of singing at home where others can hear perhaps and then dealing with the challenges of uploading big files and so forth it's very uh it's very touching it's a it's a moving experience to see the whole thing come together and certainly when the choir is assembled by kelsey what we finally get to see online but everything that leads up to that is a real labor of love and courage and a community uh, has been created online. Major um, congratulations and props to Jonathan Miller and Sandy and Kelsey and Megan and all the people uh, on the Sounds Good Choir team that have led the charge and, and worked on all the difficult little minute aspects of this to keep it going online. And I, f I feel delighted and honored to be a part of it.
The summer sessions for the Sounds Good and the Good Memories choirs tend to focus on rock and roll. Dion of the Belmonts recorded Teenager in Love in 1959, and our version for choir was arranged by the great Jay Althaus for Alfred Publishing. The next song is Blowin' in the Wind, which was written by Bob Dylan in 1962 and recorded by him in 1963. Now, Dylan said a little later that he was very clear that Blowing in the Wind is a spiritual in his mind, and it really is heavily indebted to the slave song, No More Auction Block for Me. Blowing in the Wind has been recorded and arranged by many groups, probably the most famous being Peter, Paul, and Mary. They went all around the world with that song and sold millions of albums with the song on it. And it's their arrangement, the Peter, Paul, and Mary arrangement, that's the basis for the choral version that's on our program today. Now, our last song on today's program is a medley of four big hits from the 60s. It's called Dancing to the 60s. And the songs are in order. Dancing in the Street, which was written by a wonderful songwriting team, including the late Marvin Gaye. And that song was uh, debuted by Martha and the Vandellas in 1964. The next song is The Locomotion, written by the prolific famous husband and wife team of Jerry Goffin and Carole King, and released as a hit in 1962 by Little Eva. The third song is Land of a Thousand Dances, which was a big, big, big hit for Wilson Pickett in 1966. And the final song on that medley is Twist and Shout, first made a hit by the Isley Brothers and made famous by lots of people, including the Beatles. So we put it all together. It's called Dance into the 60s, arranged by Roger Emerson. And before we go to that song, I want to turn it over to Helen Gagel, who's one of our founding singers and on our staff now. And she has a funny story for you about the twist. Take it away, Helen. 
Hi, I'm Helen Gagel, and I love singing with our Good Memories and Sounds Good Choirs. Are you ready for a dance party? Next up is Dance into the 60s, a medley that closes with Twist and Shout. That song takes me back to my teen years in a small town in Ohio. Unlike today's teens, we didn't have YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram. We had AM radio and 45 RPM records. That's the little one with the big hole in the middle. And we had Dick Clark's American Bandstand. Five days a week, my sisters and I would come home from school, turn on Bandstand, and watch those cool kids in Philadelphia do the latest steps. Then on Friday night, we would go to the American Legion Hall for the sock hop. The girls danced, the boys leaned against the wall. In 1960, Chubby Checker took the twist to the top of the charts. Now it took a while for this new dance craze to reach the hinterlands, except in Mercer County, Ohio, thanks to American Bandstand, the Gaggle girls were on it. We gave a clinic on the twist at the sock hop. Before long, the dance went viral, as we would say in today's parlance. Even our moms and dads and aunts and uncles were twisting. Not very well in most cases. But every time I do the twist, it takes me back to that sock hop. Perhaps the only time in my life when I was truly cool. Now, get up and dance.
Wasn't that fun? Four incredible songs from the 60s put together by a man named Roger Emerson, who's one of the great arrangers of pop music for choir in the whole world. Now, Roger happens to be a friend of ours here at the Sounds Good and Good Memories Choirs. We're very fortunate. And Roger sent us a greeting as part of this concert that we'd like to share with you now. Here he is. Hi, everyone of the Sounds Good Choir. I just had a wonderful phone call from my friend Paul Langford, and he told me that you're singing a lot of my music. Well, it really made my day, and I just want you to know that um, I love to sing. I hope it shows through my pieces, and um, I'm getting a little older myself. I just turned 70, so uh, uh, good times, but I'm still healthy. I hope you are as well, and I think music keeps us young and healthy. So I just wish you the best. Sing with gusto. Um, you know, put your love and your heart into it. You have a wonderful director. Uh, Paul Langford is just the best. Jonathan Miller is just the best. And I wish all of you um, the best health. And um, as we move forward, and let's hope we get together soon to uh, be together to make music. All right. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Thanks for being here. If you'd like to join us, feel free. Our fall 2020 session is now open for registration online. Just visit our website at soundsgoodchoir.org where you can see information about the fall session for both the Sounds Good Choir and the Good Memories Choir. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hope you can join us and thanks for being here today.